Hey guys, hope you're all good today. Previously we've seen the expression transformation in Informatica Designer, where we used quite a few transformations. So today we'll be looking at one of the functions which we can use in that transformation. This function is called the IIF function. It basically functions as the if condition in any other language. <clears throat> it returns one of two values that you specify based on the result of a condition. Its syntax is IIF and in the brackets first you specify the condition, after the comma you specify a value and optionally you specify the third value. And the following table describes the arguments for this command. The first argument is the condition. It is a required argument. The condition you want to evaluate is specified here. You can enter any valid transformation expression that evaluates to true or false. For example, the isNull function. The second argument is value1. That is also a required argument and it is any data type except binary. The value you want to return if the condition is true. The return value is always the data type specified by this argument. You can enter any valid transformation expression, including another if expression. The third argument is an optional one, which is called the value2 argument. Any data type except binary can be spec specified in this, and this is the value that you want to return if the condition is false. You can enter any valid transformation expression, including another if expression. Unlike conditional functions, in some systems, the false, which is the value2 condition, in the IIF function is not required. If you omit value2, the function returns the following when the condition is false. It returns 0 if value1 is a numeric data type. It returns an empty string if value1 is a string data type. It returns a null if value1 is a date-time data type. You can often use a filter transformation instead of IIF to maximize session performance. So let's move over and look at an example of using this if function. The problem that we're trying to solve here is that we need to load the salaries of employees in a table and flag them as high, medium or low based on the following business rules. If the salary is less than 5000, the salary status should be low. If it is between 5000 and 10,000, it should be tagged as medium and if the salary is greater than 10,000, it should be flagged as high. So let's move over to the practical and open the designer, the power center designer. Or first let's create a new table. So let's go to the database and let's connect to the test one ODBC connection that we've already created. Okay, connect using the target database, username target, password target as well. Expand this, expand the tables and yeah, generate an SQL for the create statement of the employees table that we already have and let's edit this. Let's name it as employees underscore salary underscore status. Now we need the employee ID for this, so let's, let's remove the unnecessary constraints from it. We need the first and the last name. Then <clears throat> the email hire, I, hire day, job ID. We need the salary, let's remove the commission percentage and manager ID and department ID as well, because we don't, we won't be needing them. Okay, let's create a new column called the salary underscore status. And let's set its data type as varchar. Okay, now <clears throat> let's execute this. And the table has been created. So, 
And let's refresh this and see if it has been created. And yeah, the employee salary status has been created. <clears throat> so let's move over to the power center designer and create the mapping. Connect to the repository using the administrator username and Oracle as password. Create a new mapping and let's name it as M underscore employees employees underscore employees underscore salary underscore status click OK and now we need to drag and drop the sources and the targets so the source for our uh, mapping is the employees table from the HR database I will need to import the new target so let's import target from database connect using the username target and password as target as well click OK click connect I mean yeah expand these and here is the table that we need the st salary status click OK after selecting it and here it is now let's move over to the mapping again and bring in the source first which is the employees table from HR department uh, from HR and then the target table which is the salary status now we need to create a expression transformation before from it So let's bring forward the columns that we will be using in it. Bring them here. Rename it to expr underscore salary underscore status. Okay, let's go to the reports and add a new port so let's name this port as uh, yeah sorry let's name this port as <coughs> the salary status and here We'll uh, write in the transform uh, the if statement, the transformation. And here we have the IIF. Okay, so what we want to do here is that if the salary is less than five thousand, then the value should be low. So value should be low. Otherwise, if the salary will bring in another if statement if the salary is greater than equal to 5000 and salary is less than 10000 then it should evaluate to medium otherwise it should evaluate to high yeah so now what we're trying to say here is that if the salary is less than 5000 it should be tagged as low otherwise if it's between 5000 and 10000 it should be tagged as medium and if both these conditions are false then it should be tagged as high so validate this expression and yeah click ok apply click OK okay select all of these propagate them forward and yeah arrange them all and here you can see our complete mapping where we transfer data from employees table to via expression transformation to the target table so let's save your work
and it's valid. Let's move over to the workflow manager for our session and workflow creation. Click on the W and here let's create a new workflow. Name it as WF underscore employees. underscore employees underscore salary underscore status okay now let's create the session for our mapping click on session click over here select the status mapping that we just created click OK and let's connect the start of the workflow with the session now double click on the session and let's set the few properties that we usually do. Firstly rename it and remove the M underscore for naming convention purposes. <coughs> Next select the fail parent if task fails. In the properties section scroll down and set the source target connection as the source connection as HR and the target connection as target scroll down we don't need to set anything else over here let's go to the config object uh, tab and set the session log file name as 5 and this stop on errors as 1 in mappings go to the source first and let's set the connection database connection as the connection variable dollar source click OK nothing else to be set over here so let's go to the target now and the same as connection variable dollar target click OK <clears throat> select this as normal load scroll down select the truncate table option and yeah, nothing else to be set over here. Click apply and then OK. Don't forget to save your work before running it. And now let's start the workflow. You'll be automatically taken to the workflow monitor. Over here you can see that the job is running. It'll take a little time as we're evaluating the expression. So yeah, it's running. And it has succeeded you can see that the 107 rows have been applied to the target table. So let's move over to the target table and see what we have as the result over there. So select steric from <coughs> employees underscore salary underscore status. Execute this. And yeah, you can see Let's sort this by high or lows. So yeah, you can see that anything above 10,000 has been tagged as high. Anything before below 5,000 has been tagged as low. And anything between 5,000 and 10,000 has been marked as medium. So <clears throat> you can see the condition statement, which is the if statement in the Informatica expression transformation and how useful it is. So in the coming lectures, we'll be looking at a few more functions that we can use in the expression transformation, such as the abort and the uh, error uh, functions. So till then, stay with us. And thank you so much. Bye-bye.